Just like the QB in the NFL Yeah, so they know a player so pro When she get into her zone She start texting on the phone That she want me off the muscle Good in the mic Man, with big bro We, we, we everywhere up in this thing today Checking out the full center up in this thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we over here talking about the Cowboys, you know. He want Dak to get him one and I, I'm in agreement with him. Like, hey, Dak is a good guy, you know what I'm saying? Dak deserve all the accolades he get to him. Shoot. He, Big Bro brought up a good point. He was telling me, uh, man, Cowboys, they draft good, but they do a piss poor ass job developing them <laughs> <laughs> a yeah, piss poet. We are lacking. Now, mind you, we're only two years after the, Ga the Jason Garrett era. I know that during Jason Garrett's era, that was the issue. We lack player development. Hell of a draft. We draft our behinds off. But we, you know, we lacked in the, the player development area. Now, hopefully Mike McCarthy and his staff and his, you know, his coaching staff can help develop players in a little bit better in that, in that uh, area. But when Garrett was here, nah, that was definitely a weak point. <laughs> and it was evidenced by people when they left here becoming yep. key contributors on on championship teams. Yep. And, you, and the list is long. You yep. Cole Beasley. Yep. Went to Buffalo, became a key contributor. Check. Uh, Darren, Anthony Hitchens went to KC. KC, KC City and became a key, a key contributor. Uh, check. Went, uh, Woozie went to check, check. Went to Cincinnati. Became a <laughs> instantly became a contributor. You know, these those coaching staffs were doing are doing something different that we are not doing as far in terms of player development. Players either get when we draft players, they're either beasts already, and they just remain beasts. Or they don't meet their potential here to be the beast and go somewhere right. where they get paid to be a beast and they get developed to be one. I don't understand it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For a center. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hit him with the OTO in the board. Hit the star on the board. <laughs> hey, we was mad as hell when T.O. did that, man. Hey, real talk. Real talk, man. Nah, you see, we up at the Ford Center today out here with Big Bro. This is day three of the draft. The draft done wrapped up. You know what I'm saying? I need to come out and get to the store earlier. I see they got a lot of other stuff up in here. You know what I'm talking about? The Cowboy shop right up over there. You know, he might check up over there. But we had this saying where... Y'all can't get up out the first round. We can't we can't be buying no gear. So it looks like we ain't bought no gear in a long time. <laughs> nah, but it's all it's all for us, shoot. But I think, you know, Cowboy did their best to try to fill needs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I think they tried their best. I don't know. I think they did a, a, a decent job. I think they did a decent job of a, I think they did an excellent job of addressing need. And I think they do, I think they overall did what they do every year. You know, they let the board come to them again. You know, didn't make any moves. You know, they didn't have any hard, they didn't hardly trade up or down. They were very inactive, just took what the, what the board gave them and, and addressed needs. It was, a, it was a typical, in my opinion, it was a typical cowboy draft. Solid, not flashy, nothing spectacular, but they addressed the needs. They, they attempted to address their needs. In a lot of areas. Which that's all you can ask the Cowboys to do. You right. know what I'm saying? At least get your knees. Be disciplined. Be disciplined. Stick to the store. Stick to but the store. But their lack of free agent act activity and free agency, that's really going to cause them to put pressure on themselves to draft well. And it's like teams like Philadelphia that want to make moves and then have some draft capital. It makes it, it put more pressure up on you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Real, real talk. You know what I'm saying. We up at the full center today, man. Spain player. Spain player, player. Player, player, huh? Player, player. 
And we come right back with y'all. We gonna take a little tour real quick, but we'll get right back with y'all. Talk about some more things, see what they gonna do. Sooner or later. And when they do, y'all niggas ain't gonna be able to stand a cowboy fan. Y'all gonna wish me. <laughs> and that's all we waiting for is that one more time. Cause uh, uh we hey, gonna bro. let y'all have it, for hey, real. Bro. That was cool. Real talk. Let y'all have it. If the Cowboys ever win another Super Bowl, we're going to melt the internet, bro. <laughs> we going to shut that thing, whole thing we gonna down, shut every, man. we going to shut every Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. We're going to shut it all down. Bro. It's going to be so much updating, dude, because y'all going to be wanting to block everything y'all see about a Cowboy fan. They're going to be like, time out. Wait a minute, man. We can't. Well, y'all can't. Y'all ain't going to let us have nothing. Y'all better hope we don't never win another Super Bowl, bro. Man. I mean, like, then y'all like, the, the one argument that y'all have against Cowboy fans will become irrelevant. Oh, y'all haven't won anything in you. Boy, if we win one, we'll be the most valuable franchise and we'll be that. We'll be, be champions again. Like LeBron said, that shit was stank. <laughs> yeah. He said that shit was stank on y'all ass, man. I promise you, but hey. Hey, yeah, uh, we're going to come through here and check out what's going around through the town. You know what I'm talking about? Check out a few places. Just like the QB in the NFL, the ass. Y'all didn't know a player so bro. When she get into her zone, she start texting on the phone. That she want me off the muscle. Just like the QB in the NFL, the ass. Women say that Drewski so bro. With no hands, it ain't no catching me Just to keep it so true that it's my specialty So come and kick it with me We'll make a specialty To world Y'all done spit some flavor Yes, yeah, Droski, you know who it is Man So it's still Friday You know, I just came back from seeing my mom She's chilling with her, you know what I'm talking about She in good spirits It look like some things are going well for her That can transpire real good uh, y'all know I've been talking about the Mavericks for a minute, but you know, let's get to the NFL stuff. You know, the schedule done came out yesterday, Thursday. Got some good matchups. Uh, and truth be told, Cowboys had a to say favorable would be a disgusting understatement, like for real. They have a schedule that sets them up to do wonders. You know what I'm saying? Now, I want to give a little intake and more stuff about, you know, what can we expect from the Cowboys, you know what I'm talking about? For their offseason wasn't that good. Uh, they lost a lot of players and didn't get no players, but they drafted at all their needs. Were they stuck? <sighs> That's to be determined, you know what I'm saying? But looking at their schedule, man, ah, now, nah, man. This is how the Cowboys get you every year because, bro, their schedule is, you look at it, if, if, if they wouldn't have made the playoffs last year instead of losing to San Fran the way they did in, in the first round, I think a lot of people's tones will be very different about the Cowboys right now. Because I'm telling you, I'm, I'm looking at it like, bro. Last year, I had them going 9-8. and eight. That was my record last year. I had them winning the division. I had them going 9-8, and eight, but getting bounced in the first round of the playoffs. I said the division is the only reason that's keeping these dudes up afloat. They, now did they crush that? Yes, they did. Uh, but it still looked at the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I said looked at it. It looked at it the same, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this year, uh, you know, it's Friday. I'm looking over the list, over the teams that, you know, who's what, who done did what. I mean, this will just be a first preseason, you know, this will be a first, what they call it, mock mock schedule, you know what I'm saying? Basically as in the win loss totals on it. You know what I'm saying? You still gotta you still got, you know, to make it up out of camp. Dudes get hurt and stuff like that. More dudes get signed. Yada 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 yada. Uh Saturday being tomorrow Saturday, your boy thinking about 
going over there to Frisco. You know, Tamad, catch me one of them bars and give me a walk around that thing. Hit the Dallas Cowboys Pro Shop up and all that type stuff. But uh, thinking about hitting up the star tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Get some good vlogging and catch me a spot somewhere. Give me a couple beers and stuff like that. And then uh, let's see. And I'll give me a rundown over some wins and losses. Over the mock wins, wins and losses. You know what I'm saying? I'll give me a swift rundown and see what we can expect from the Cowboys and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to give you too much right now. I'll wait till we on the road to Frisco, you know what I'm talking about, till we get to the star. And then when I get to walking around and doing all that other stuff, yeah, you know, then, then I'll give you my take and my breakdown on all that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I will leave it to you with this. I'm not even talking about if they're going to win the division. I'm just saying, looking at the schedule that was released yesterday. Well, by the time y'all see this, you know what I'm saying? That was released Thursday. Um, you know, hey, hey I'm kind of cheesing about it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, Strosky, I'm bringing the raps and the sports and the sports and raps, you know what I'm saying? So, I catch back with y'all here a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when I catch y'all Saturday, when I'm strolling out there to the start, you know what I'm saying? Check me one time. So as you see, your boy done got some grub, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Talking about. So I'm looking over it, you know what I'm saying? First game of the season, we play the Bucks. What's up with the NFL scheduling the Cowboys with the back-to-back -back same team like that, man? You know what I'm saying? I don't be liking that type stuff, but. It is what it is. We get Tom Brady again. You know, the Bucks got a different head coach up there. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Aarons and stuff down. Tom Brady is still Tom Brady, you know, the seven ring champ. So it is what it is. Uh, this will be a game, you know, the Cowboys, they be expected to lose. But this is a game they're going to play. They, you know, you know what's up. But I still have them. I'm going to take them in the L in this game of week one. Uh, even though it'll be at home. Tom Brady is one of them dudes. He's undefeated against the Cowboys. So, I mean, for me, it done, it done made me extremely frustrating that the Giants and the Eagles done beat that boy in Super Bowls, but he undefeated against the Cowboys. Come on, man. That 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 leaves a very, very sour taste in my face. So, uh, I'm going to take the Bucks in that one on 9-11 on Sunday Night Football. You know what I'm saying? You know how the hype come out with the Cowboys. Uh, the Bucks are still going to be the Bucks, and I think they're hungry. I'm going I'm to say the Cowboys start off 0-1 in that one, and I'm going to come back with y'all with game two when I eat some of these very, uh, you know, some of these pretzels and cheese right here. Okay, week two. Coming back at you. Week two, we got the Bengals. Team that made it to the Super Bowl last year with Joey Burrow, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase against Trayvon Diggs. You know that's a lovely matchup, a lovely matchup. Lyle Collins versus Michael Parsons, D-Law. That's a lovely matchup. Y'all know that's a lovely matchup, ain't eh? We all gonna love to see that. That's gonna be real juicy. My thing with the Cincinnati Bengals are they gonna be able to maintain the expectation? Because remember when the Browns and Baker Mayfield and them won the playoff game and everybody was all hyped on them and a lot of people had them contending for a Super Bowl the next year. I mean, now Baker got hurt, a lot of things happened, but that expectation happened and you see what happened. I'm looking at the Cincinnati Bengals. Are they going to be able to live up to that expectation as a franchise who, you know, don't really have the limelight like that? Now, I know what you having the star power that you got with Joey Burrow, you know what I'm saying, mixing Jamar Chase. The expectations should be high. Now that y'all got to the Super Bowl, they want y'all to get, you know what I'm saying? They want y'all to get that, so... I think the expectations will be a little bit too much, and they will come down here. They will come to AT&T Stadium. Go ahead, sir. Yes, please. You good? I'm just vlogging. That's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, give me uh, looking at the Bengals coming down here to AT&T Stadium after coming off a loss against the Tampa Bay Bucks. I like the Cowboys in that one to go ahead and win that. It'll be a 3:25 game. You know, mid-afternoon games on CBS. So, Tony Romo most likely is going to be on the call. You know what I'm saying? With his, ah, Jim. Ah, they almost got it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, uh, 
They'll play the Bengals week two, 325, down there in AT&T Stadium. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I'm going to say that, you know, expectations going to be a little bit rough for the Bengals, you know what I'm saying, coming out. I see the Cowboys even it up at 500 right there. I'm going to come right back at y'all with week three, you know what I'm saying. What's good? Yes, yeah, Drewski coming back at you with the 2022 schedule for the NFL Cowboys. I'm coming at week three right now. We got the Giants on the road. Monday night football. Big stage on the road in the Big Yorker, Big Apple, New York, New York, New York. Uh, Giants are just all type of, they're all in type of retransitioning. This ain't, this ain't even, this ain't even gotta be no, nothing to think about. I think they'll come out and play hard. They'll be play, you know, inspired. They'll be healthy enough. I just don't see what Daniel Jones really going to give for the Giants, you know what I'm saying? Regardless how good they tried to draft to get their offensive line fixed, I just don't see – I just really don't see Jones, Daniel Jones holding over the fort. Give me the Cowboys in that Monday night victory over the Giants on the road. And uh, another thing to take on that, you know, Cowboys and Giants, they do have that, tra you know, prestigious tradition about, you know, just matching up. A lot of times for the division, uh, things like that. But you know, the last few years, last decade, basically, it ain't really been like that. But uh, I'm looking at that game, and I'm I'm thinking the Cowboys. They're still they're still better. They have the better quarterback. They still have the coaching staff that's in contact. Uh, give me the Cowboys in that one, and probably a convincing win in one of the many against the Giants, basically for this year. Uh, Monday night, Cowboys, I can expect them to come out a little bit slow just because they, they'll they come off a previous week of winning against the Bengals. But I think just too much Cowboys right now. Michael Parsons and D-Law ain't going to allow Jones and whoever they want on their offense to, you know, get big money on them. So give me the Cowboys in that one in the Monday night victory, giving me the Cowboys a record at week three, two and one. I'll come right back at y'all at week four, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, Drewski, what it do, YouTube world? Hey, looking at week four, coming back at the Cowboys 20, you know, 2022 schedule. We got the Commanders at week four on a noon game down there in at and Stadium. I don't think Carson Winston then will figure it out about around that time. So go ahead and let me go ahead and get the Cowboys in that one coming out. I mean, yeah, I got them right there. After the Bucks lost, basically I got them at week four, three and one. You know what I'm saying? Winning over, winning over Washington. You know what I'm saying? I believe Dak Prescott is just better than Carson Wentz. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? As you can tell, I'm going by the quarterbacks to see who's going to really win because anything can still change. But the quarterback is your mainstay and the common denominator. So give me the Cowboys over the Commanders in week four, giving the Cowboys a three and one record around that time. I'm gonna come right back at y'all as y'all see your boy and got. Yeah, we got another one of them, pitcher of water. Hey, just enjoying it all about you, you know what I'm saying? Let's go though, you know what I'm saying? It's all lovely, you know what I'm saying? Probably I'll bring my little baby girl out here pretty soon, but y'all see, I'll check right back in with y'all coming at week five, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a tasty. Alright, now coming right back at y'all with the schedule for the Cowboys for the 2022 season. I'm at week five right now. So far I got the Cowboys going three and one. Week five, they go on the road to SoFi to the defending Super Bowl champs, Rams and Matthew Stafford. 325 game on Fox. Probably Troy Eggman, Joe Buck, you know what I'm saying? Classic duo. Rams, by that time, they'll be strong to try to defend their crown, what they got going on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rams, I think, are a better coach team, and I think they're just in better position, even though they're getting everybody's best shot. Are they still going to be hungry enough? This will be a game that the Cowboys should be ready for. I wouldn't be surprised if they were to win this game, but looking at how I got them coming out so far, they'll be 3-1. and one. You know when that start happening, that momentum start rolling, they'll be saying that the Cowboys can pull an upset, and that's when the Cowboys are going to be the Cowboys right there. They're going to come back down to earth. I'm going to take the Rams in that one, in that game. I'm going to say the Cowboys is going to lose on the road. It'll be a good game. Be something that'll tease us. Thinking that the Cowboys will have a shot later on. But 
after that mark at the five way mark I, but I got them three and two right there you know what I'm saying so stick to stay tuned with me a little bit more as you see him burp your boy getting them Heineken's in about to clear his paint in but uh after week five I got him three and two losing to the Rams after that stick with me a little bit more I'm gonna keep running down the schedule with y'all yes Drewski coming back to you live with the sports ref man uh so like I said I got him so far at three and two coming after week five week six we have a Sunday night football matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles ah. This game is tricky because I think Philadelphia, they're that's, that's one team, one franchise, one destination, one place that when the stakes are high, you never know what to expect. Uh, with that being said, it'll be a Sunday night game. Ooh. I kind of went back and forth on this, but then Excuse me, y'all. But then I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? I believe this game is going to be one more on defense, even though I believe we got the better quarterback. In Dak, I believe the Eagles is going to have the better defense. So give me the Eagles in that Sunday night victory against the Cowboys, having the Cowboys at 3-3 three and three after week six at 500. Being at 3-3 three and three is probably going to go up, uproar. You know, the Cowboys are still the same old Cowboys. And you know what happens when you start talking about the Cowboys like that. Then they try to give you a little glimmer of hope. You know what I'm saying? They try to pull a little bit of things off. So, I have them losing against the Eagles week six on the road. It's on a Sunday night football matchup. Uh, putting the Cowboys at 500 at 3-3. Three and three. Uh, Stay tuned a little bit more. I'm still running down the schedule. It starts to get a little bit juicier here. So I'll come right back. Yes, yeah, Drewski, sports reps, coming right back at you. We at week seven right now. I got the Cowboys at three and three so far in the schedule so far. Uh, week seven, they play the Lions down there in AT&T Stadium at 12 o'clock. That one's going to be on CBS. Hmm. It's kind of funny, two NFC East teams being on CBS. Let's me know it's kind of some type of fixture. Outside of saying all that, the Lions been the Lions for as long as we've been the Cowboys. So this is a no-brainer. Give me in the NFC North run, give me the Cowboys over the Lions in this one, getting over 500 at 4-3 and three right there. Uh, that's a no-brainer. They should win that one easily. Never, over, never underestimate a team, but the Lions are the Lions. We should know how that goes. They might be pumped up. They'll probably be probably be better this year, but give me the Cowboys in that one in the easy one. I'll come back to y'all week at all right. Let's keep it rolling. We coming back at it. You know what I'm saying? So far I got the Cowboys at four and three as so far that the you know pre-mock you know draft schedule on the wins and losses on the Cowboys season for 2022. Uh week eight, we play the Bears. That's gonna be another noon game down there at ATT Stadium. Justin Fields, he might be I. Right. He might be the future, but he ain't gonna be the future in that game. As I as I felt with the Lions, I'm gonna feel the same way with the Bears. Uh, they lost Khalil Mack. That's a big piece of their defense. I wonder how they're gonna really rebound. They got a whole little new direction going on. They're kind of, you know, they're just all going in a different direction. So. I believe that'll be an easy win for the Cowboys as well, putting them at five and three going into the bye week. Uh, bye week, week nine. It's an odd number, kind of still in the middle of the season. Their bye week actually fell in the right position for the Cowboys. Uh, halfway through the season, you get a that's that that's actually a good bye week that they that the NFL blessed the Cowboys with. Which lets me to believe, I don't know why, but you know, these TV deals are coming in. I'm telling you, I told my brothers and them, you know, that it could be the Cowboy fan in me, but to be honest, we were doing bold predictions. And uh, last year, I said in the next three years, the Cowboys would win the Super Bowl. And I said that because all these TV revenue stream, streaming services, uh, you know, Amazon, all the other ones, you know, Apple TV, they're doing a lot of that stuff, so they're gonna get broke off. But 
Uh, give me the Cowboys over the Bears and that one going into the bye week, going at five and three. I'm going to check right back with y'all, and I'm going to keep giving y'all the rest of the schedule. All right, yes, Drewski coming back at y'all. You know what I'm saying? We just running through this Cowboys schedule over here at the, the common table. You know what I'm saying? Over here in Frisco at the star. You know what I'm saying? Checking it out. Y'all know, hey, if you're a Cowboy fan, this is one of the best spots to be at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, me staying over there in the Metroplex, I can always take y'all by, you know, Texas Live, the star. and every, I mean, not the star, but AT&T Stadium and everything over there. But uh, if y'all want to take your kids out, take your old lady out, or women, if you want to, you know, surprise your man with something, I mean, take them to the star. They got a lot of things that, you know, can be good for the both of y'all. All right, coming into week 10, I got the Cowboys at 5-3 and three so far. Coming off the bye week. Uh, this is going to be a juicy one because we go to Lambeau, go to Green Bay. Mike McCarthy going up against his boy Aaron Rodgers on the 325 game on Fox. Most likely Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, he do it to us all the time. I think this would be a game. Appreciate that. I think this is a game that you know. You ain't got to say much to Aaron Rodgers to get him fired up to figure out what he want to do and how he want to carve something up. Cowboys will be feeling a little bit good about themselves, but I think they'll come out a little bit rusty coming out the bye week. And I just think Aaron Rodgers will just be, he'll just be ready for the challenge. Give me the Packers in that one over the Cowboys. Uh, week 10, making the Cowboys 5-4 and four at that record after week 10. And uh, just saying, man, uh, this will be a game that I just believe Aaron Rodgers, he's just geared up for. And in the regular season, it's hard to beat Aaron Rodgers in these type of games. You know, he's geared up for these type of games in the regular season. Postseason is a different thing, but for a fact, regular season, this is the type of game he will put it in the Cowboys crawl, just like I felt about Tom Brady. So... Give me the Packers over there, dropping the Cowboys at week 10 at 5-4, and four, one game over 500. I'll come right back at y'all with the rest of the schedule. Yes, yeah, Drewski coming back at you with the Cowboys schedule for 2022. Uh, so far, I got the Cowboys at 5-4. and four. Week 11, they go to Minneapolis to face the V-I-K-I-N-G-S, them Vikings. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a 325 game on CBS. Which means your boy Tony Romo could be there again. I told you I had the Cowboys at 5-4 and four right now. Them going on the road to play the Vikings, that's going to be a little bit of tricky, but I'm confident in the Cowboys in that one. Give me the Cowboys to roll in that one. Uh, putting them two games over 500 at 6-4, and four, winning over the Vikings. I have them winning that and then turning around in a short week, you know, see what they can do. But, uh, Week 11, I got them beating the Vikings. Uh, that will be a good road victory, giving the Cowboys a little good momentum going uh, going into the latter part of the stretch of the season. So I got them winning over the Vikings right now, sitting at 6-4. I'll come right back to y'all with a little bit more and the rest as the back end of the schedule comes down. Yes, Drewski coming right back at y'all as we running through this Cowboys schedule for 2022, giving y'all the pre-mock draft. Run. I'm not my draft, but the pre-draft. Uh, Pre-scheduled run of wins and losses, my bad. I'm stumbling. You know your boy didn't had a few of these, but uh, we still going to be responsibly. Uh, so, as I said, I got the Cowboys right now sitting at 6 and 4. Week 12 is going to be Thanksgiving. Matter of fact, so we have a short week after coming off of Week 11. We got a short week. Got the Thanksgiving week. It's going to be a divisional game against the Giants. I ain't got to say nothing much more else. I think... Daniel Jones be done lost his job by this time of the season at week 12. So give me the Cowboys easily against the Giants in week 12, pushing them to seven and four. Seven and four, three games over 500, looking in a good direction. Uh, at least holding firm, holding good in the division as well. Uh, I just believe that the Giants, they still need a another they need another couple years and another quarterback before they want to run to where they need to run to to at least be competitive in this division give me the cowboys over the giants in week 12 on thanksgiving day uh putting the cowboys at seven and four i'm gonna come right back at y'all for the rest of the uh stretch of the 
season. Yeah, it's Drewski coming right back at y'all, man. Running through this schedule right now. I got the Cowboys at 7-4 right now. We at week 13 going against the Colts. This one right here, I had a lot of problems with because to me, this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, the Colts having Matt Ryan at the quarterback position, you know, that could be big help for them. I was really struggling big time in between this, how to really do, how to really pick this. This is one of my question mark games. These, this game can flip either way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a, it's a basically a coin toss. Uh, either team can win this. This game right here, we will be at home. We will be at home on a Sunday night. So it looks like coming off of the Thanksgiving game. You get that week and then you play Sunday night. So I think Cowboys, even though they'll be well rested, that's a game that, like I said, could go either way just because they're well rested. I can see them winning that game, but I'm going to go with the Colts in that one in week 13 over the Cowboys on Sunday night football down there in AT&T Stadium. Uh, like I said, y'all, this is just the pre one. I haven't seen what they look like. Nobody done seen what they look like at this point. Ain't been no training camp. You know what I'm saying? Ain't been no scrimmages. Ain't been no preseason. Ain't been no transactions. We don't really know what they look like. But give me the Colts over the Cowboys in Sunday night football in AT&T Stadium. Bring the Cowboys record at 7-5. and five, And I'm going to keep running through this schedule. I'll be right back with y'all. Yes, yeah, Drewski Sports Raps coming right back at y'all. As I said, I got the Cowboys at 7-5 and five right now. Going into week 14, they're going to play... They're gonna play the Houston, Texas. Ace Town come in. That's the I-45 rivalry. It's about time we play these guys. It'll be down there at AT&T Stadium. That's probably be a game you might see me in. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold me to it, but that's a game I'm looking forward to going to. Texas with no Deshaun Watson. Even though Mills, he's a good quarterback. I don't think he's ready now. Of course, I'm taking the Cowboys all day in the in-state rivalry on I-45. That is even no question. This ain't even got to take long to do. Uh, give me the Cowboys in that one going, giving me their record at 8-5 over the Houston, Texas in week 14. I'm going to come right back up with y'all for the next one. Okay, coming back for the next one as we were coming to the, you know, closing in of the, you know, Cowboys schedule for 2022. Uh, week 15, they go to Jacksonville, hot Jacksonville. Uh, in December, this should be a good warm reprieve for the Cowboys as they leave the Metro place, which will probably be chilly around that time. Uh, the Jags been the Jags. Trevor Lawrence, I believe he's going to be a future good quarterback, but they're going through transition as well. Uh, this is another game I see the Cowboys should have actually handily feeling good about themselves, actually running a little good little win streak. Uh, what did I have the Cowboys at? Eight and five. Give me them beating the Jags on the road on a noon game in a little humid weather in December. But give me the Cowboys over the Jags going at 9-5 and five right there. 9-5 and five so far. I'll come back with y'all with the rest of the schedule coming so to you soon. We'll finish these drinks, you know what I'm saying? Get back right to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Woo-wee, what's good, y'all? It's Drewski. We are coming to the end stretch of the Cowboys schedule for the 2022 season, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all a little pre-run, you know what I'm saying, of what I think with the Cowboys record going to be. Right now, I got them boys at 9-5 uh, and five right now. Uh, week 16, this will be an interesting game because, as you see, week 16 will be against the Eagles. More, what's even more funnier, you know, that it will be Christmas weekend. We play the Eagles, so... They will come down to AT&T Stadium. Let's not show them no love, no love at all. Ain't no love lost. Y'all know what it is with us. Every time we see y'all, y'all bird at, you know what I'm saying? But outside of that, uh, I see the Cowboys avenging their early season loss against the Eagles when they went on the road. I think that I said that was a Monday night football game. Uh, give me the Cowboys over the Eagles on a Saturday night or a Saturday evening football game, you know what I'm saying? Give me them over the Eagles, putting them at 10 and 5 so far. Giving them a good, at this point, good grip on the division. A lot of people are gonna say, man, you just being a cowboy fan. I mean, I am, but like I said, this can change. I'm actually still being objective here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
but I'm just looking at it. I got them in week 16 on a Saturday uh, afternoon, beating the Eagles down there in AT&T Stadium, pushing their record to 10 and, 10 and five. Uh, Cowboys will be feeling good about themselves only with two weeks left in the season. It'd be interesting to see what the rest of the division will look around that time. And it'd be interesting to see what the standings in the NFC will be around that time. So, like I said, I got them over the Eagles in week 16 going at 10 and 5 at this point. I'm going to come right back with y'all for the rest of the uh, season. Yes, Drewski. As y'all see, I'm breaking y'all down the Cowboys schedule right now for the 2022 season. Right now, we at the, uh, what is this, the common table. I keep got to look back, your boy a little impaired, but the common table serving your boy right, right now, you know what I'm saying? Got me outdoor patio, music kind of a little low, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully we ain't infringing on no copyrights, you know what I'm saying? But uh, going down the schedule right now, I got the Cowboys at 10 and five. Right now, we at week 17. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a short week after I had them coming off a win against the Eagles. Uh, I'm looking at it. They play Thursday, and uh, this is where I keep talking about the TV money coming in because this game right here will be on the road against the Titans on the Thursday, but this is going to be not on NFL Network, not on Fox. This is going to be on Amazon TV, Amazon Prime. So, uh, hey, my homies, if, you, if your old lady got that Amazon Prime, y'all going to have to make sure during that week y'all butter her up. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be New Year's. New Year's Eve, basically. So you want to go ahead and butter her up, so you can use that Amazon, you know what I'm saying, Prime account. You know what I'm saying, because uh, that's probably where you're gonna only be able to see that game. So don't wait till week 17 and be like, man, you mean to tell me I can't? Whatever, man. Hey, I try to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? That's just how that part's gonna go. Uh, week 17, they go on the road to Tennessee, ten to the key. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tannehill, Dak Prescott. This is another tricky game that I had that I feel is a coin toss that could go either way in my in my perspective. But of course, this is just coming as of right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, looking at what the Cowboys are bringing back and looking at what uh, looking at to see what Tennessee is bringing back. They losing a lot of receiver help, but this would be the type of game late December, early January, where, you know, I don't know, Cowboys at 10 and five will probably be feeling themselves like they are sure in. And this will be a game that they drop on a Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Titans. I'm gonna say the Titans are gonna beat us at their home stadium. I got the Cowboys losing on the road against Tennessee, dropping them to 10 and six right there at the season so far. Uh, stick with me, tune, and I'll give y'all for the last game of the season. Then I'll give y'all my final take on what can happen for the season. Yes, just coming right back at y'all with some sports rest, man. So I'm at the end of this Cowboys schedule for the 2022 season. Right now, I got the Cowboys at 10 and 6. They go on the road to face the Washington WTF Commanders. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Coming down to the end of the season, I see them at 10 and 6. This is another game that could be tricky because they could either be the one the division right now or they'll be wild carding it. But uh I got the Cowboys losing this one on the road as as well, man. Cowboys being the Cowboys. Uh I think they know they won't be able to establish a better position in the postseason, so they will go in as basically a wild card or division champ. But me basically having them beating the commanders, I would say that they would win the division. So I have them beating the commanders right there on the road. Uh, last game of the season, bringing their record at 10 and seven. So I got them at 10 wins. That's 10 of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 10 and seven, but I believe this will be the year. I believe this will be the year that the Cowboys break the cycle of a team not winning consecutively, not winning the division consecutively back to, you know, back to back years since 2004, since the Eagles did it. So give me the Cowboys at 10 and seven to finish the season. I got them four and two in the division, going back to back, breaking the cycle, winning the division. Uh, basically I got them winning four games in the division. Then I got them winning five games against the AFC South and the NFC North, and then I got them beating the Bengals. So give me the Cowboys at 10-7 right there. They break the cycle and repeat as division champs. 
Uh, that's not to say they'll do anything in the postseason, but this is just this is just my little pre-run of the first run of the NFL schedule that was presented to the Dallas Cowboys for the 2022 season. So uh, let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Catch me on social networks. You can find me on Twitter at Struski Self Made or Instagram at Struski. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like I said, looking at the Cowboys schedule, I got them repeating as division champs, doing that since the first time since 2004, since the Eagles did it. And I have them going 10 and 7, holding, hosting the playoff game at the AT&T Stadium again. Let's just see if they get a favorable matchup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the tech, and then I'm going to go hit the demo field and get a little more footage, and uh, we'll talk some more. I'll catch up with y'all. Just like the cube.